This is for those of you that are really trying to come up with a nice dressing for steak and you just don't know what it is, what you want to do, is it going to be safe? I tried to find the lowest carb count sugar-free syrup that I could find. You guys know I don't like using sugar-free products, but every once in a while if I get a craving for something or if I'm going to teach something, um, I'll go ahead and pick, up, pick it up and use it. I'm not too good to use this stuff. Um, there are times where I might get a craving and I make an exception for it, but I limit these things in my life because I know they're not healthy for me. Stuff with sorbitol, xylitol, malitol, things like that are all fermented from corn. They're made in labs. They're just not good products to be consuming all the time or even often at all. But if I need to make like a marinade, a steak marinade, this is my recipe. I don't even gauge this. Like I just... Put a couple teaspoons. I take a little squirt. Oh, that's the wrong one. Take a little squirt of sugar-free ketchup. About two tablespoons. Some white cooking wine. I just splashed a little bit in there. A little garlic powder. I make a barbecue sauce that I slow cook on the stove using similar products, but I do add a few more things to it. I just sprinkle some in there, not a ton, just enough. Some Slap Your Mama white pepper blend. Now mind you guys, these aren't teaspoons, these aren't even eight or quarter quarter teaspoons, it's just a little bit. This is um Tony Sashery's bold and creole with a kick. These don't have junk filler products and things of that nature. And then I'll take some liquid smoke. And then basically, I've got a nice steak marinade here, or I got a nice steak dressing, a dipping sauce, something like that for my steak, or. Wow, that's good. That's really good stuff. And then I'll, I'll coat my meat with it. And then what I'll do, is I'll go ahead and spread this all over my steaks. Let it sit here for about an hour. Letting it, letting it come to room temperature. And that's after these are completely thawed out. And then I'll take and put these steaks in vacuum sealed bags with this Ziploc vacuum saver. I'll take these vacuum bags and then I'll come over here and I'll drop them down in the sous vide and I'll let them cook for an hour and 15 minutes at 128 degrees. And you talking about some mouth-watering steak that'll make you want to slap your mama. Holy moly. Add a little bit more to it, a little bit more buttery flavor. Go ahead and get you some of this real butter. Not fake stuff, no parquet, no blue bonnet, no none of that junk. Real Land O'Lakes extra creamy butter is what I'm using now. It's a European style. Some people say there's no different, but actually it does taste a little bit different. It does taste a little bit creamier. But just basic ingredients. Nothing crazy, nothing unnatural. That's all. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the sous vide. The next video that I come up with tonight will be a um, actual barbecue sauce that I show. I'm gonna add a little bit more in it. I'm gonna give you a few extra ingredients to really bring up the barbecue sauce and the sweetness. All right.